Hey guys, Thomas here, and I'm going to show you today a new feature we're rolling out that's going to give you a lot more flexibility around the billable rates that you charge your clients for your time. In the past, there was only one number that you could define per person on your team, and that applied to every invoice, no matter what task they were doing, on every project. But now, you're going to be able to set up a rate table for each person, and you can even lock in rates for certain projects. Let me show you how. You go to your contacts, go to your team, and click on the little pencil to edit them. And now you'll find that instead of just that one field for editing your hourly rate, you have like a little table. And I can add additional rates. So right now, all activities, I'm charging $50 an hour for my time. But I can go ahead and say that for drafting, I'd like to charge $75. Now I'm going to save a change. And going forward, all my timesheets will reflect that. Now you can see I have a, a rate range here. So let's log some time to some projects. I'm going to do some drafting work on this project, say two hours of work there. And then I'm going to spend an hour on that project doing something that should use the base rate. Now let's double check it. Go to manage my time. And indeed, I see here drafting. I spent two hours at the higher rate, $150. Uh, procurement, which is not specified, so it should fall back to the base rate at $50 an hour. So this is great, because now I can charge different rates for different activities. Maybe some of these skills are more in demand, and I should charge a little more for them. And I can even, if I want to, uh, invoice for these in my projects, and if I need to, set a spe specific rate on each project. So We've heard from a lot of folks that sometimes you onboard a client, um, you promise them a certain package or a certain set of rates at the time, you sign a contract, and you want to respect that going forward for the whole, whole, whole life of the project, which might drag on for quite a few months. Um, previously, there's no way to handle this except to manually update all the rates as you create your invoices, but now we can do this completely automatically. So. Now when you go to your invoicing section for projects, there's a new button here called Current Rates or Locked-in Rates. And you can click on this to decide for the hours on this project. Do so I want to use the current rates that we saw in the contact section, uh, sort of a floating rate scheme, or do we want to lock in the rates for this project going forward? If I want to do that, just click here and define the rates for different employees on the team who work on this. Boom, there you go. And I can say, you know what? I'm going to give this client a special deal and charge them only 65 for drafting and 40 for everything else. Perhaps this client has been with me for a long time, and I'm going to give them a special, a special benefit. Now, I'll save that and go ahead and log some more time for this project. So I'm going to log another hour. Oops. I'm going to log another hour for drafting. and log some more work for, say, a meeting, which should also fall back to the base rate. Now let's check on our time. Great, so now you can see that the latest entries that I logged are using that locked-in rate from that project. And uh, for both drafting at 65, a little discounted rate, and my client meeting, which is also at 40. And this will all automatically flow into your invoices, of course. So. Now you can really easily set these rates for each project, kind of set it and forget it, and not have to mess with your invoices a whole lot. I hope this really helps, give you a lot more power and flexibility in how you charge various clients and various projects, even various tasks they might be doing. And we look forward to hearing any feedback you might have. Thanks.